Namaste beautiful yogis, today we're doing Vinyasa flow with a meditation on love. For more classes like this, come over to my website alikamenova.com and join my membership where I have hundreds of classes for every occasion, mood, level, physical, focus or intention. I'll see you over there. Let's begin. Starting at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down. Step evenly on both feet and lift your toes off the floor, pressing all four corners of each foot down. Lower down the toes, pull the belly in. Shoulders lifting up and back and drop them down, opening the chest, lengthening through the crown of the head, establishing connection with your core. Mula Bandha. Connecting and finding your inner inner core. Nice deep inhalations followed by complete exhalations. Let's bring the hands behind us, clasping and soften the knees, moving the hands side to side, softening the shoulders. The knees are soft. Great. Sit back a little deeper in chair, tuck the tailbone under, reach over the head. Tucking the tailbone under and look up at your hands, soften the neck, the gaze, the lips and the jaw. Great. Exhale, folding forward, the knees are still bent. Letting the upper body be heavy, softening the shoulders, neck and upper back, softening the jaw the tongue, the inner ears, inhale, look ahead of you, grab your shin bones, straighten the back, pull the belly in, hands on the floor, step in plank, pull the belly in, again connecting with the core, extending the tailbone towards the heels. Lower down onto your belly, inhale, squeeze your elbows towards your ribcage, cobra lifting here, press your toes down, press back in downward facing dog, exhale, walk in place here, Great, back to plank. Flattening the, belt, the body as much as you can. If you need to place your knees down, place your knees down. Take the tailbone under, pull the belly in. Spread the fingers open. Lower down one more time. Cobra, you can lift a little higher here. Keep the elbows bent. Tailbone tucking under, extending, so there is length in the lower back. Great. Back to downward facing dog, walking in place one more time. Nice deep breaths. Walking and feeling the hamstrings, feeling the heels, feeling the ankles, feeling the shoulders, feeling the belly. One more time, plank, spread the fingers wide open and press into the knuckles, into the base of each finger, press into your heels, pull the belly in, really connecting with your core, 
take the right leg up and bring the knee between the elbows one two three four five step it back left side one two three four five plank and lower down cobra shoulders back and down down dog exhale take the right leg up press the heel away from you here level the hips the shoulders are also aligning so you're not one side dominant you are balancing everything leveling the shoulders pressing through the heel leveling the hips turning the toes flexing the foot and turning the toes down towards the floor exhale completely step it through press the back heel away from your high lunge lower the left knee down one two squeeze the right side glutes four five exhale the hands behind you fingers interlacing open the chest and look up exuberant heart slowly lower down forehead towards the right ankle humble warrior bowing down release the left hand down right arm up twist and reach over the head Slowly power up the legs, come up in a twist and take the right hand down the left leg, lengthening through the left hand. Great. Exhale down, plank. Lower down into Chaturanga. For Chaturanga, keep the elbows over the wrists, chest open, upward dog. Press the toes down, really engaging here the core and feeling the hips. Exhale, down dog. Spread the fingers wide open, take the left leg up, press the heel away from you. Flex the foot, toes down, all five toes should equally press down or equally face down in a flexed foot position shoulders are also balanced paying attention to our breath effortlessness we're looking for effortless poses poses that our body wants to do, there is no resistance, not in the mind and not in the body. There is flow. Look between the hands and step it through. Press the back heel away from you, high lunge. Let's lower the right knee down, keep the left knee over the left tail, ankle. One, two, three, four five exhale behind you changing the clasp here fingers interlacing softening the shoulders look up open the chest open the heart dissolving the armor the armor that most of us have around our heart metaphorically and even physically in our posture speaking lower down humble warrior bowing down gratefulness and gratitude softening the shoulders 
right hand down on the ground, left arm up, twist and soften the belly here. We're getting, we're getting this through the midsection, reach over the head, shoulders, if you can, bring them over each other in the same plane. Great, power up the legs here and come up in a twist, drop the left hand down the right leg, reaching up with the right hand, look up and breathe into that twist. Exhale, the hands windmill them down to the floor. Plank. Really strong plank. Pull the belly in. Feel the shoulders alive. Firing. Lower down, Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward dog. Lifting the tailbone as high as you can. Feel as if the tailbone is taking the weight off of your wrists. A slight bend in your knees is always welcome here. Micro bend. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. High lunge, coming up, pressing the back heel away from us. We'll lower the left knee 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring your hands, palms of the hands pressing into each other over to your right here. Stretching the entire left side of the body, the obliques. Straighten the lead knee coming up. Drop the back heel down. Take the right hand to the right hip. Reach forward with the left hand. And here you will bring your left hand down on the floor on either side of your foot. Right hand up now, you can bend the knees if you need to. Lengthening through the head, crown of the head. Aligning the head with the spine here, don't let your head drop here. That is a common mistake. Looking up at your hand, that's your drishti. Great, plank. Chaturanga. Up dock, down dock, left leg comes up, big breath in, exhale the leg between your hands, high lunge, inhale, finding your muscles, connecting with your muscles mentally, let's lower the knee down, squeeze the glutes, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and pressing the palms of the hands together, reach over to your left. Feel that stretch in the obliques. Look up. Straightening the lead knee, lead leg. Lower down the back heel, heel to heel alignment. Left hand onto the hip, right arm forward. Press that left hip back so your hips are level. Lower down, maybe bend a little bit the left knee if you need to. Looking up.
plank. Right hand on the floor, side plank. You can step your left leg in front of you or stack your feet on top of each other. Hold it. Shoulder blades are tucking into the back. The joints are aligning. Plank. Opposite side, side plank. Aligning the joints, connecting with the core, Mula Bandha, and the breath. And plank. Spread the fingers open. Lower down onto your belly. And we're going to lift here. Lift the hands and legs off the floor. Let's extend the arms above or forward. Bring them back in and flexing the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hands right underneath your shoulders. Press your toes down into the floor. Pull the belly in and here either on your knees or on your toes you're gonna come up into plank. Walk your feet in. Bring your knees closer to your wrists. Keep them off the floor. Pull the belly in and pendulum your knees. Pulling the belly in. This is great for your abs, for your core. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Walk your feet to the front. Forward fold. Grab your big toes. Begin to squat down. Squat, 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 all the way to sit it. Straighten the legs in front of you. Lower the left foot down, bring the right ankle right over the knee and press the right knee away from you. This is a hip opener. Flexing the foot. Feel that opener. Extending the left leg down on the floor, bringing the foot into your either elbow or forearm. Forearm would be here, into the hand or forearm. Deepening that hip opener. Great. Lower down the ankle right over the knee. Inhale, reaching over the head. Exhale, forward fold. Keep the foot flexing. Great. From here, bring your hands behind you. Bend your left leg. Step on the foot. Come up, tabletop with a hip opener. Great, and release. Grab your shin bones, straighten the back, lean back, open the chest, pull the belly in, reach in front of you and really contract the belly, really feel it. Great, from here we're going to bring the left ankle right above the right knee, flex that left foot, press that left knee away from you and feel it, breathe in your hip.
let's bring the foot into the hand or into the elbow if you're a little more hip open keep flexing it and bring your shin bone towards your chest extend the other leg flex both feet here breathe into your left hip softening keep the chest open keep elongating the spine lengthening through the crown of the head great lower down ankle left ankle over the right knee reaching over the head exhale forward fold And let's bring the hands behind us, fingers pointing towards us, flex that left foot, press the hips up, tabletop. Lower down, cross your feet, bring your hands in front of you, plank. Here we're going to do either foot steppings, such as demonstrated, what I'm demonstrating, or we're going to do hops, mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, twenty. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. Warrior one, back heel on the ground, heel to heel alignment, reaching over the head. From here we're going to shift the weight onto the right leg and come into warrior three, level the hips. Coming up to standing, left foot on the inside of the right thigh or right calf and you can extend the tailbone here and press the foot into the thigh, press that knee out, breathe. Focus on the drishti point, so find a point somewhere around you and just observe that, meditate or allow your gaze to rest there. From here, knee to chest, either bring your right hand onto your knee or grab your foot, left foot, right hand, and twist, look behind you, letting go of your drishti point, flowing, moving forward, finding fluidity in your practice. Great, shall we go back to warrior three, hands over the heart, level the hips, lower down, hands on the ground, step it back, strong plank. Chaturanga, up dog, back to down dog. Nice deep exhalations or inhalations followed by exhalations. Great, take the left leg up, Step it through, heel to heel, lineman, bend the left knee, come up, warrior one. 
Focus on your breath here. Hands over the heart, shifting the weight onto the left leg, coming up to standing, warrior three, level the hips, flex the foot, press the heel away from you, coming up to standing, finding three poles on this side, the foot is pressing into the thigh or into the calf, extending the tailbone down, Connecting to your core. Again, coming back to your breath. Great, releasing, bring your knee into your chest and either bringing the left hand to the knee and reaching back or to the foot and reaching back. Back to warrior three. Lower the hands down, step it back, plank. Chaturanga, upward dog, downward dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. Come up warrior one, facing the length of the mat, coming to plie. Turning towards the back of your room, warrior one, lower down, plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, take the left leg up, warrior one. Again, facing the length, long side of your mat, plie, and we're going to do pulses here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Reaching out to the sides, reach, reach. Reach, reach, steady the legs and move the upper body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Waist trimmers coming up, facing the front. Warrior one, lower down, plank, chaturanga. Up dog, drop the knees on the ground, coming onto all fours, take the right hand underneath the left shoulder, glide it under, lower the shoulder down.
opposite side. Coming back up, walk your hands in front of you and lower the chest down. Great, glide down onto your belly, either lifting hands and feet off the floor one more time or reach back, grab your ankles and lift here. Great. Coming up, laying back onto your back, right knee into the chest, bringing it across from the body to your left, look away from the knee, keep the right shoulder down. Twist. Exhale and soften. Soften the body. Feeling that you can let go more and more with each exhalation on all levels. Physical, emotional and mental. Coming back up, a few circles with the right knee here. And let's switch the legs, left knee in, a few circles. And across. Keep the left shoulder down. Bring the left knee all the way to your right as far as the knee would go naturally without forcing it. Look away from your knee. And again, exhaling and softening, giving in, becoming heavier, melting into the floor. Feeling your body becoming more supple as we're twisting and stretching here with no resistance, no effort. We're allowing the stretch and the twist to happen. Coming back up and let's press the elbows down, step your feet in, keep them hip width apart, toes pointing the leg directly forward, lift the hips here and bridge pose, pressing the shoulders down. Step into the inner and outer edges of your feet. Slowly lower down, soles of the feet together, palms of the hands facing up, relax your shoulders, soften the chin and the jaw and the eyes, close the eyes, either stay here or extend your legs, let the feet drop out to the side, you're not holding your legs, you're not holding your lips, your tongue is off the palate. The lips are touching softly without squeezing or pressing into each other. Feeling the face muscles relaxing. The jaw relaxing. The scalp softening. The inner ear softening. The back of the throat softening. The belly softening, the legs letting go, softening, the arms letting go, softening, and staying here very present, aware of your breath, 
empty minded following the verses. Love is the water of life. Everything other than love for the most beautiful God. Though it be sugar eating, what is agony of the spirit to advance toward death without seizing hold of the water of life? A moment of happiness, you and I sitting on the veranda. Apparently two, but one in soul, you and I. We feel the flowing of water here, you and I, with the garden's beauty and the birds singing. The stars will be watching us and we will show them what it is to be a thin crescent moon. You and I, unselfed, will be together, indifferent to idle speculation. You and I, the parents of heaven, will be cracking sugar as we laugh together, you and I. In one form upon this earth, and in another form in a timeless sweet land. Oh, lovers, lovers, it is time to set out from the world. I hear a drum in my soul's ear, coming from the depths of the stars. Our camel driver is at work. The caravan is being ready. He asks that we forgive him for the disturbance he has caused us. He asks why we travelers are asleep. Everywhere the murmur of departure, the stars like candles thrust at us from behind blue veils. And as if to make the invisible plain, a wondrous people have come forth. All through eternity, beauty unveils his exquisite form in the solitude of nothingness. He holds a mirror to his face and beholds his own beauty. He is the knower and the known the seer and the seen. No eye but his own has ever looked upon this universe. His every quality finds an expression. Eternity becomes the verdant field of time and space. Cypress give hints of his majesty, the rose gives tidings of his beauty. Whenever beauty looks, love is also there. Whenever beauty shows a rosy cheek, love lights her fire from that flame. When beauty dwells in the dark folds of night, love comes and finds a heart. Entangled in trees, beauty and love are a body and soul. Beauty is the mind, love is the diamond.